Oh yeah, she's that country girl who overcame the stigma that southern women are barefoot, backwoods, and backwards. Now she's an articulate voice for conservative values and wisdom in America. Sitting on her front porch sharing common sense, here's Marnie. Hey, welcome back to my front porch where we talk about common sense in America. And today really is a subject of about common sense. As you have been probably watching the news, you will see that people are giving Senator Mitch McConnell a hard time because he is against reparations and he has some ancestors who own slaves. And so they're saying, you know, he's <laughs> he's got a problem here. Or, and they're starting to look at you know, who are the ancestors of these people and whether they've done something bad in the past. Okay, I'd like to tell you an interesting tale. I had a uh, fifth grade grandmother who was a Revolutionary War heroine, Dicey Langston, and she saved an entire village. She intercepted a message, was able to warn her brothers who fought for the Patriot cause, crossed a rushing swollen river in the middle of the night, nearly drowned to warn her brothers and the entire village was saved and all the men that were encamped there went on to fight another day and many people can owe their very existence to the fact that Dicey Langston saved their ancestors today. Dicey Langston's father, Solomon Langston, owned, owned slaves. According to his will, he passed on five slaves. Her husband, Thomas Springfield, in his will, mentioned six slaves that he uh, passed on to his children. Both her husband and her father fought in the Revolutionary War and were prominent in that war as, long, as well as her brothers. But an interesting fact is, let's say if you look at me and you're going to hold me accountable for what Solomon Langston and Thomas Spring, Springfield did, will you also hold me accountable for Catherine Craig and Abel Pearson who ran a stop on the Underground Railroad and were very prominent uh, Yankee sympathizers. They were from the south here in Tennessee area and they ran a stop on the Underground Railroad and the Secretary of War under Lincoln stayed with them in their home. Um, all of my grandfathers who lived during the period of the Civil War on both sides fought for the Union. Which ancestors will you judge me by? And do we need to go that route? Okay, do we really need to be holding people accountable for whatever their ancestors did, or can I be held accountable according to my own merit, the content of my own character, as Dr. Martin Luther King said. Because we all have something. I can go back far enough and find that I am related to the Howards. Catherine Howard was beheaded by Henry VIII. Uh, we shared, Catherine Howard and my Margaret Howard, my ancestor, uh, shared the same grandparents. The Howards were uh, treated horribly because of this. They were all treated very poorly in England. Do I get to go back to the Queen of England and ask for reparations for what happened to the Howard family? If you go back far enough, I go back to William the Conqueror on one side. So does that make me, do I need to make reparations for everyone that William the Conqueror uh, conquered? I mean, that was a lot of people and a lot of descendants um, how far do we go back? How far do we have to be held accountable for the sins of our fathers? It's really ridiculous. And if you look at even the people that we're going to make reparations to, most likely they have people on both sides of these situations. And how do we prove it? Do we have to do the genealogy of all of these people? Many of these people, especially if you're talking about the, the slave question, uh, there are genealogy is almost next to impossible to track. And the same people who are saying that it's too hard to get personal ID to vote are the same ones saying that we need to be held accountable for our genealogy. It's a lot easier to get an ID to vote than it is to can't figure out all your genealogy going back. It's just, it's impractical. It's totally impractical. And We've got to stop the madness. It's really, really, really dumb. Okay, it's really dumb. We need to work from this point forward, okay? I'm responsible for me. I'm not responsible for my ancestors. And neither are you.
we need to just work forward from here and do the best we can to be good people and loving and kind to those around us and, and just do the best we can from this point forward. Well, that's my thought for today. Y'all take care. Visit us at frontporchsense.com for more episode and commentary. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.